Search is really important. It's the gateway that we have to the web. People that maintain websites are in many ways very concerned about how their sites appear in search engines. So if I want a restaurant, I want to be on the top page of results when people search for restaurants in my area. If I run a company, when people are looking for things that I sell or services that I offer, it's critical that I get on one of those top search pages, particularly in my local area. Because if I don't, people aren't going to find my business and uh, my numbers may go down. So there's a lot of interest, and this is something that you can find. There are whole blogs about search engine optimization, or something that's also known as SEO. Um, and all sorts of advice about different techniques, blah, blah, blah. You can divide that sort of into two different categories. There's black hat SEO, which has to do with things that the search engines don't condone. These are practices that are really aimed at manipulating the search results or manipulating a site's position in the search results, putting it higher than it should be. On the other hand, there's also a great set of white hat search SEO techniques that are designed to just try to make sure that your site appears properly in the search results. So you can, you can say, you know, the black hat techniques are trying to boost your site above where it should be. The white hat techniques are just trying to make sure that your site is where it should be. Can a search engine find out appropriate things about my site? Um, can it make sure that it understands what pages on my site are about? Can it make sure that those pages are returned by the appropriate search queries? So, right, you know, the, and, and this has to do really with, you know, adjusting the structure of the page and other pieces of information that the website provides to search engines and to the robots that crawl the web. So, you know, various things, um, you know, picking good titles, right? So making sure that your pages um, have a title and that the title is appropriate. The title has some information about the content on the page. So that's another one. Uh, adding keywords and descriptions. So the metadata that a particular page has has uh, influence on how robots process the page. And so making sure that those keywords are good and the descriptions are up to date, um, things like this. Um, you know, making sure that uh, robots can find pages. So setting up potentially a site map that allows robots to make sure that they can find every page on your site and then also provide some interesting uh, metadata information about how important those pages are. Um, and then of course you know making sure that the contents of the page are in good shape, that they're up to date, um, that they are relevant, that they're interesting, you know, to some degree, uh, the, the reputation of a website hopefully fundamentally has to do with the content that that site provides, not necessarily some of these gimmicks that are designed to just make sure that things work well with search engines. But there are some straightforward things you can do to make sure that your site appears in the search results in the proper position. Um, if you want to learn more about this, again, you can spend days, you know, trying to find different frameworks to optimize uh, your, the, where things appear in the search engine um, if you want to. But fundamentally, Fundamentally, uh, you know, given how important search is, there's a huge amount of interest in this area and making sure that search results are relevant and appropriate.